Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create a knockout to have the topmost layer in a clipping group punch through to the bottom layer of the clipping group or the background layer. To do this, first create the desired clipping group. Let's go ahead and do that. I think the first thing that we'll do is add a shape to our image here. We'll add a large rectangle right in the center on top of our image. And then the next thing we'll do is add some very simple text. Now we're going to be looking at text pretty extensively in the next chapter. For right now we'll just do a quick click and add a large U for Teach you Comp. Now after that we're going to go ahead and create our clipping group. So we'll select the two layers here and link them together. We'll select our bottom layer and go to Layer and then create clipping mask. Then what we're going to do is go to the top layer here and you're going to double click it to bring up the layer style dialog box. Now in the screen at the right after you click on blending options right here remember how we looked at knockout in the previous lesson. You're going to use that drop down to select either shallow or deep and shallow will punch through to the first possible stopping point like the bottom of the clipping group whereas deep will knock through all the way down to the background if there is no background deep will knock through to transparency then you must change the fill opacity or the blending mode of the layer to create the knockout effect so I can go to the fill opacity slider here we'll move the box a little out of the way and you can just click and drag to see the knockout effect happen. After you do that you can click OK and you'll see that we've created a knockout. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.